Hello. Um, part five, if I remember rightly now, um, in which I am going to um, work at, or continue working on improving the financial position of my civilization in Anno 1404. It's improving now up from 25 to 29. Um, I have here even-tempered peasants, but actually I want the population on this island to be increasing, it occurs to me, so I'll bring it down to um, sort of happy-ish, um, and then they will move in. I don't need them to be euphoric. They won't be ascending to citizens or anything, but they can move in here. So let's see what I've got. I have some wood, no tools. I have three fishermen. Oh, and enough fish. Right. And on my home island... How's it going? Not bad. Number of tools is now increasing. Fish is pretty good. Wood is maxed out, of course. Mm. So these guys are producing, yes, in good quantity. The toolmakers' workshops. I can probably stop buying tools from third parties now, actually, if I want to, and save myself some money. So if I edit these trade routes a bit and just um, stop buying tools from him, I'll unload any I have, but I don't need any more. And on this one I also don't need to keep buying tools from him. So I'm basically just selling stuff at the moment. Load up in Wolfshaven, unload in Kingsport, load up in Wolfshaven, unload in Shepherd El Sheikh. Lovely. So I might as well send a bunch of stuff to the island, which is called Rosie. It's possible now that I might be making enough tools and actually to be able to sell some. If I go to the warehouse, I can choose things to sell if I wish to. So any NPC, that is non-person computer players or non-player characters can purchase a few odds and ends from me if they like. I seem to be building up plenty of wood, plenty of tools, well, some tools. There's more money in tools and of course cider. So I better sell a bit of cider anyway. You can use the slider to here to determine exactly how much. So I will sell a maximum of 20 ciders or thereabouts. There we go. I will also sell some wood. It's suggesting a maximum of 25. I'm going to say a maximum of 20 again. And I think I'll sell some fish as well since I have plenty, but I might build another fishing hut just to make sure. Yeah, okay. So while I'm here, I'll just build some more fishermen. Maybe I'll build them over here. They're right next to the warehouse, but I'll put a road in just in case. Now, my island. Unload all the goods, please. <coughs> and send the ship back here in case I need anything. Well, actually, I think I'll send the ship off to explore up here. 
I think I don't need the ship now. I may be mistaken. We'll find out shortly. Let's see. I need to build a marketplace because my journeymen are now getting over level. What do they call it? A small market building, which I will put down here first of all. I don't need to because that place can build all the way down there. I need to build it up here so I can connect up Sister What's It's thingy. Oh, a quest. Don't have time, I'm afraid. Let's see what she wants. <coughs> She needs charitable donations, does she? Uh, what does she want exactly? She requires bread to pray for a miracle. Well, I'm not in a position to make bread, so maybe later. Need wheat fields and things of this sort. Um, in that case, I will build some cider production facilities for these chappies. Where exactly? It's not very efficient here. But maybe here I can get a couple of fields in, maybe just about. Three fields out of four. Well, it's barely adequate. <coughs> In fact, if I distort this road a bit, no, I have to demolish the peasant house. It'll do. And another peasant place, please. Another, not a peasant place, but a cider hut. I shall build it all up here. I'm going to build some. In fact, way out here, I'll build it. Two side of arms should be enough to, to handle plenty of uh, peasants, actually. In which case I can build a load more peasant huts. I just want to revise this road a bit, actually. Make myself some room for another row of peasants. I'll just keep building a goodly chunk of them. to build around that corner there. Okay. No. Nope. Doesn't matter. I'll do without it. Alright, I should do that, but I want to build a carpenter's hut to <coughs> protect all these houses from fire. So if you build it close to the marketplace, it pretty much covers all the ground Well, 
I might have to build a fire station over this side, but that's all right. That's the sort of area. The carpenter's hut has a maintenance cost, but it's affordable. I could build a church. It's not absolutely essential unless I want my citizens to ascend and I need a bit, bit more wood. So perhaps what I should do is build another woodworkers or lumberjacks hut before d doing any more. Just plonk one in here and maybe another one. Why not? I might as well sell some wood or something. Go to the warehouse, check what I'm selling. I'm not selling anything, but I'm, I can sit here selling wood, actually. And I can sell any surplus fish, come to that. And any surplus cider, although there is not a surplus at the moment. We'll leave it for the moment. I'll leave those sliders as they are and just see how it develops it. I don't know if it's selling zero wood or something, but uh, clearly we need some uh, journeymen. Or I can upgrade the storage space in my warehouse. I need some stone, I believe. And as it happens, there is a stone deposit there. So if I want to build a stone deposit, mine or whatever it's called. I can just do it right there, off, and connect it with a road. And it's busy, right. So in a while I'll have some stone and I can expand that warehouse a bit. I should be getting a fair old bit of revenue from this village, actually, now, with the tax rates as they are. Um, I will build more peasant houses because I can. I'm just going to fill it right up, basically, because the whole purpose of this place is tax. I mean, it's going to be a nice little village, I suppose, in the end. Haven't built any fountains yet, but there's room for one here. Let's plonk one in. Boff. I don't know if I can build a tree there as well. Looks like I can. There we go. Nice. Right. Some more peasant houses. Oh, what's this place? Oh, this is the carpenter's place. Right. Ah, yes, I was thinking about a church. Well, maybe, but um, I'm building wood and... I'll start with that. I might leave room for a church beside the marketplace here and I'll start building the peasant houses over here. Until I run out of wood. <laughs> I think I have run out of wood now. <laughs> but there'll be more in a little while. Unless I'm selling it all to these passing ships, of course. slider allows me to adjust what I'm selling so we'll see Oops, auto save time 15 minutes up already I 
I might need to build another wooden lumberjack's place, actually, just to be on the safe side. And there's no reason not to up here. Joined him up okay. Did I? Yes. Now they see they're, they're uh, selling bits of stuff in my cities now. I'll come back to this town and develop more later. For now, let's start looking at what I can do about these southern islands. Well, my ship has found another island or two uninhabited. It's this empty area, but there's something there. Hmm. Well, I want to send my ship down to here. Well, let's just send him over this way and explore while we go. Because I want to pick up the fertility of spices because I'm going to need them. Leif here has naughtily set up a, a, a base on a very good island. It has dates which the oriental nomads need to eat and it has spices which my future patricians need to make their food a bit more interesting. Gruel is better with a bit of pepper in it or something I suppose. Is there another island here or something? There's a little tiny piece of rock. Somebody in Wolfshaven doesn't have company. It's probably this place that doesn't have a road. That'll sort them out. What's the tax level here? Citizens for peasants. It's a little high, the tax. I need to reduce it so people move into the empty house there. Another island or two. Hmm. Basically on these maps, they're not that realistic. There's there's islands all over the place, basically. At least that's the way it has looked to me so far. Explore down here, then we'll go to Chapa El Sheikh and pick up whatever I can. Go. I should probably have loaded up on wooden tools from home, but as I'm now making a profit, I'll probably just spend some money here and buy it. Some celebrations going on here. 
goods I wish to buy. I want to buy. Spice fertility. Correct. I will need some tools. Although I can get them from home, but never mind. Alright, okay. I don't suppose I'm able to buy wood from this chappy yet, am I? If I go to Goldford. See if he will sell me some wood. But I have a feeling I don't have the, the rights. Is there only one dock on this under? Is there another one here? Yes. Let's go here and see what I can buy, if anything. And decide which island I'm going to try and occupy. That one's no good because. Chappie's got it. Does he have anything to sell? No. Indeed. If I look at this port, does he have anything to sell? Well, not that I can buy. Well, maybe I can buy some wood. If he will let me sell it. Let me buy it, I mean. Now, which island am I going to go to? That one is no good. It's his. This one... It has spices, but no dates, but I've just bought spices. This one has dates, but no spices. It's quite a big island. Dates, but no spices. Dates, clay and almonds. Or dates, clay and indigo. Indigo's better. Dates, clay and almonds. Dates, clay, and almonds. Well, let's look at these two irons then. It also has coal, iron, some wood, quartz, copper, okay, and this one, quartz, gold. Ooh. More quartz, some iron, iron. Plenty of wood. Well, either of these islands will probably do. This one is no close to another island, which has some chappy on it, um, and some quartz, and some coal. Oops. Well, first of all, I'm here. Let's load up with some wood, if I'm able. I'm not allowed to sell to buy from him. I need to nip home and get a load then. How's my own warehouse doing? Fine. And it's doing okay at selling fish, wood and cider. Ship is uh, heading back. Here we go. I could offer this guy some more stuff. What does he want? 20 tons of tools and 20 tons of fish. Not just yet. Let me get my um, tools for myself first.
Alright, let's load up with wood. Don't need those two. And load up with some more tools. That should be plenty. Now I'm going to populate one of these two islands. I'm leaning towards this one because it has indigo, which is pretty good. This one has almonds, which I don't know about. Indigo, I will need it later when I have more advanced characters. So I'm going to head down to this island and park my boat somewhere. There's a lot of wood here, which would be useful to have. So, I, Although this port is on the wrong side of the island, away from me, I am going to park my boat here. think. There's quartz there which will be useful later. There's some iron all the way up there. Iron all the way over there. Hmm. This beach would actually perhaps be a better one because of the, the iron which is nearby. And I can chop some wood and sell it or whatever. Well I can do that here. I'll I'll stick with what I originally planned. And now we're near the end of this episode, so when my boat arrives, we will carry on with that in part six. So, save the game. Continuous Alpha Tucana 5. Save. And goodbye for now. See you in the next part, which I think is part 6. Darned if I remember. <laughs> Bye.